हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू आवर चैनल एंड माय नेम इज बलराम प्रसाद आई एम वर्किंग विथ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एज ए सीनियर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सम ऑफ द डाटा रिलेटेड सिनारियो सो इफ यू आर वर्किंग ऑन सम प्रोजेक्ट वेयर यू आर प्लेइंग विद डाटा दैट द डाटा इन मल्टीपल सोर्सेज एंड यू यू हैव गिवन अ टास्क फॉर integration from both the platforms so it might be possible that some of the system is on sending the data into azure platform and some of the data is in a snowflake um, we all know that a snowflake is different data warehousing offering so how we can ingest the data from snowflake table to azure blob so so that application hosted into azure platform can use that one or maybe some other application which is connected to azure can use in this left side in screen if you see sap table is using from blob storage and that that scenario we can see that one how to ingest data from snowflake to blob and in next video we are going to see that how we can uh, push the data to snowflake from blob so that other people or other application can consume the data from snowflake so this is the scenario which we are going to do today so let's go to azure portal and uh, create the pipeline into azure data factory so i am into azure portal and i am opening my azure data factory studio and now i am going into manage section where i am going to create link services so let me go ahead and create the link services and link services will be that first that we are going to create with snowflake and in when we create the snowflake then we have to provide some details then details can be account name and user and password which database in warehouse right we have to give the details so if you have seen our previous video where we had created a snowflake databases in instance you know this details but uh, let me go ahead and pull this one from our snowflake instance so this is that place the reason where our snowflake is hosted and this is account name and this is the uh, uh, database and this is the table and warehousing information that which compute warehouse it is there hosted that we can go and find that one so all these details we can find from here now let's move to here i am going to put some details over here and password always we have to keep into uh, key vault that will be safer but for this demo i am going to use direct password putting it here i have provided all the details let me create the test connection okay so this connection is successful now i am going to create the connection from blob so when we create the link services for blob we have multiple authentication type like you can have used account key service principal and system managed identity but for the snowflake we are going to use sas uri because that is being supported from uh, right now with uh, snaps so i am going to grab the sas url and sas token for that we have to go back into our storage and this is a storage which we are using so i am going inside containers and this is our container so i am going to grab that sas access token from here and this will be because we have to pull and write that one so i am going to um, do all this and then i am going to generate this sas token so sas token will be this one url is this one i am going to paste that url and the token is this one okay let's do the connection test so i am able to connect successfully now as our link services are created we are good for creation of the pipeline and when we create the pipeline we will go ahead and create the source data set and destination data set also 
So now let's drag and copy the data activity. Copy data from Snowflake, right? And we can have now we have to create a data set. And we know that uh, this data set, if you have uh, not seen these details, you can refer to our old, um, other video where we have gone into basics of data factory. So we can see that one. And this one is the test table because we are going to pull the test table from Snowflake, right? Link services is Snowflake connection. And table now it is pulling the table from Snowflake and I'm going to use this test table. So if we go into our Snowflake instance and see the test schema and tables, I have this table, test table, and I have used only one data is there, my name and other things, so that it will be fast and we can pull all this. So yeah, import schema, schema will be detected from connection store, that what is the column details and other things are there. As our um, source data set and connection is set up, we can go ahead and preview the data so that we can verify that our connection is working. Yeah, now our connection is working, our table is creating, you can see the schema has been detected. Now we can go into sync one and sync one we have, we cannot use the same table because that is the source one which we are using. Let's go into blob one and we are going to have this delimited text one. So I can put that uh, data set name and I am going to use Snowflake demo uh, link services for blob which we created. And our container end is this ADF demo. And our directory is test directory. And we are going to have test table.csv. So we are going to create this one. Let's go into ADF one. We have test. There is movie.csv, but not test table.csv uh, we are not going to use this one uh, we can mark that in first row as a header and then we can say okay right and uh, we have to do one more setting over there that what is the root delimiter we are going to use so let's use that delimiter with a uh, carriage return let's go ahead and publish this one Now we have published this one. I'm going to run this uh, trigger quickly and see that it is running successfully or it is being failed. So once we go to monitor section, we are seeing that one our trigger has been manually done and it is in progress. Let's see in few seconds it should be because yeah, it is succeeded now. So we can go drill down a little bit more and see the details about the activity and other things. So this is that snow flag export command is that one blob storage right setting is there delimited what is the delimiter and other things and how much data is written 48 bytes is there row is one copy is there and all this is there details which integration runtime is being used and if you want to visualize that one this is the snowflake and connector is connecting to blob and pushing all these details right so this is the one row 48 byte this is what we want to do this is the scenario we can have that one let's go into this place and refresh this one now we can see test table let's go ahead and edit this one and we see the first name is header um, header um, uh, column header and the second is uh, is our data so that we can see this one right now if we go into our snowflake instance and if we go and see the details in activity section so let's see query activity so this is happened right now copy into uh, azure restore flag blab information which we give in from schema that this is that everything is done using azure SaaS token and other thing and it is pushed that by, by that one so we can see the activity into our snowflake also that what happened and how that copy and other things happen and using that odbc driver it has been used so this is what i wanted to cover in this video in next video we are going to do just opposite we are going to publish the data from blog to snowflake table so please watch that video also thank you